So you know the whole secret already. You gotta have your head, paddle, boat, and body doing the right thing, right? Cool. Well, let me go ahead and give you the rules, and if you can figure out how to apply these rules, you can skip the rest of the program. All right, step one, the head. Head always points at your target. That's rule number one. It's very easy, it's very simple to remember. However, most people, including myself, your default head position, that is when you're not really sure what your target is or your things are moving too fast and you forget to look at your target. Where does your head go? It goes straight over the bow. And believe it or not, you spend way more time than you think with your head pointed over the bow, even though your target or where you want to go might be over there. So while you're sitting there watching me, do this. Turn to the left, turn to the right. Just double check and make sure that you can, in fact, uh, maneuver your head separate from your torso. You can do that? Cool. We'll give you plenty of examples as we go of, of where your target actually is and how to make sure that you're always looking at it. Your next thing is your paddle. Your paddle has some simple rules too. The primary rule for your paddle is that every paddle stroke should push you in the direction you want to go. Sounds easy enough. You want to take a forward stroke, you go forward. Well, there's a few little intricacies here to make sure that you take it to the next level and you truly understand what it means for every paddle stroke to push you in the direction you want to go. For example, if you want to take a forward stroke, if I were to put my paddle in like this and pull forward, that'd push me in the direction I want to go, right? No, not right. Look at my paddle blade. It's at a 45 degree angle to the water. If I take a stroke right now, half of the force is pushing me straight upwards and only half of the force is pushing me in the direction I want to go which is forwards. Watch what happens when I extend my top hand. Ooh, look at that. Now I got a vertical paddle. Now 100% of my force is pulling me forward. A 40 pound catch on your forward stroke here is no more effective than a 20 pound catch here. Now you start to get it? Cool. We'll get through more of that stuff here pretty, pretty quick. Now our boat. Our objective with our boat is very simple. We want to always put the right amount of edge and the correct edge in the water. Most of the time, believe it or not, the right edge is no edge at all to keep your boat dead flat. For example, when you're doing forward strokes. Is there any benefit to rocking the boat when you're doing forward strokes? Not at all. Now what is the problem with not being able to keep the boat flat during forward strokes, for example? Well, while you're paddling, you're just going to be randomly dropping your edges in the water. Well, this, of course, isn't a good thing if you just happen to randomly hit the wrong eddy line at the wrong time. So our objective is to, to develop edge control. And part of developing edge control is to knowing what edge to drop. We'll get into that, but it's pretty simple. And less told otherwise, your objective is to keep the boat flat. That'll be easy enough, right? Cool. All right, what do we got left? We have our torso, our body. Well, the rule number one for our body is we try to keep our body weight over the boat. When our body weight's over the boat, we're stable, and we can use our paddle for maneuvering, whether it's play boating and doing tricks, creaking, being able to make your maneuvers, slalom, being able to go fast, or just general river running, staying right side up. Keeping the weight over the boat is a key, is a key skill. It's very tempting, once we learn how to do a brace, for example, to be doing a lot of throwing our weight over the boat, or throwing our weight away from the boat. When you get your weight off to the side, all of a sudden now you're using your paddle as a brace, which means you can no longer maneuver and do tricks, no longer can maneuver and river run. So let's keep our weight over the boat. That's rule number one. The next rule is that your body should lead every turn. Now this one, we'll spend plenty of time going through why, and I'll give you plenty of examples. But for right now, let's just make sure that you understand the rule. If you're turning to the left, your body should face over the left side of the boat. If you're turning to the right, your body should face over the right side of the boat. Very simple. Now, are you doing that right now? Hmm. Unless you've spent a lot of time developing the habit to do that, I'm afraid to say that there's a 99% chance that when you're turning, you're getting the body behind the turn, which is going to hurt your, ki your kayaking career. All righty. What do you say we uh, get moving?